time for another when I was in graduate school story. Uh, when I was in graduate school, at the end of my first year, uh, the commencement speech for the class ahead was given by Bruce Sterling. Um, Bruce Sterling is a sci-fi writer, kind of a futurist thinker, all-around cyberpunk kind of guy. Um, and the thing that stuck with me about his his commencement speech was that the big point he was trying to make was if you have to ship. You have to ship. If you're in the arts, you have to ship. Absolutely have to ship. And what he means by saying you have to ship means you have to like finish the project and put it out in the world. Um, and I mean that's kind of an invaluable advice, period. Because you know how many artists do you know that like never finish a project and don't really show any work? Um, it happens. Uh, but how that works kind of into where we are right now is that looking at that model of kind of applying sort of product development to our artwork. Um, Basically, every artist has to be a natural born project manager. Um, and if you're at, on that now, by the time you finish your art education, you will be, you just will be. Um, why do you have to be a natural born project manager? Because you're in charge. And I mean, as we've seen in the videos that we've watched, you know, hey, I mean, maybe life will take you to a place where you'll be in charge of like 20 assistants and you're going to have to manage all of them to get them to make your big giant work that you want to make because it's awesome. Um, but as far as project management goes in terms of the arts, the arts are kind of unique because the output is flexible. Uh, as long as you can fit into as long as you can fit your idea into like time resources available, you can kind of scale to deal with dwindling resources and dwindling time. And in my opinion, that's probably really where the real creativity is because having a big idea or that lightning bolt or inspiration or whatever, you know, yeah, all right, fine, that's one part of creativity, but actually pulling it off is something that you really have to kind of do creative new math on in your mind as you're managing your time and your resources. And so basically, you know, my point in giving kind of this talk at the end of the semester, close to the end of the semester as everybody's going crazy is um, to kind of mention that you can, if, if you want to be really creative and you are running out of time or you're running out of resources or you are generally running out of just being able to do it, then focus on how you can solve the creative problem of I want to X but I don't have the time. So you can scale your project now. Uh, you can, say, pare down the elements in your project. Um, there's, you know, any number of creative ways, and I mean, you really have students anyway, so you can, you know, solve creative problems in terms of, of thinking about creative solutions. Um, but, you know, in the arts, there's really no shame in, in, like, scaling down your project just because of the nature of reality. Um, and so as we kind of move forward and we begin sort of getting that crunch time down, um, think about scaling your project or think about you know scaling your expectations to sort of fit the time. Because if the work is good and if the work is conceptually interesting, then it kind of doesn't matter if it has a million elements or one. And it kind of doesn't matter if it's 100 feet tall or it's six inches tall. Um, it's, you know, about the ideas, it's about the work. Uh, and if the work is executed well, I mean, you know, think of Donald Judd. Donald Judd's entire career was basically 
based off of making a box and saying, this is a box. This is a different size box. This is a long piece of aluminum. And it simplified, simplified, simplified. And that trips a lot of people up because they look at, at Donald Judd's work and they say, I don't get it. It's, there's the, and I mean, honestly, like my master's thesis was all about how I learned to relax and love Donald Judd because it's just a box. It really is just a box. But if you look at the box, you say, oh, well then that, and it reflects onto the floor around it and it's kind of big, but in this space, it kind of makes me notice. And you can kind of go down that critical rabbit hole with a box that really is just a box. So being creative in terms of, of being able to scale your projects is, is so important both in terms of keeping your sanity for school and also like making your art career work outside of school um, because you know outside of school you're in the big wide world and in the big wide world like the resources and the time and all that stuff is even more limited so you know basically don't get married to your first idea like never get married to your first idea um, Think about scaling, think about elements, think about what is or what are the most important elements in this project, both like conceptually and formally. And then if you find yourself like sick or you have six tests on one day or you've got 12 papers due or you've got, you know, if you have, if, if you have those waning resources, don't be afraid to say, you know, I'm going to scale this down a little bit because, I mean, I got to be functional. Um, and so, you know, that's that that's kind of my my functional talk uh, about you know maintaining your life as an artist as it relates to running towards the end of the semester or running towards when your show opens or running towards when the building that bought all of your artwork that you made. Uh, is done and they want to install it in everyone's office and they're giving you the like, when is it going to be done? Then, pare it down, simplify. I mean, like, simplify is a whole philosophy that people work with. It's not bad to, like, not be, it's, it's not a bad thing to say, I'm going to have to adjust my project perpetually as things go. And I mean, on the other side, you know, we've been adjusting projects this whole semester based on like, oh, wait, well, I, we talked about that in critique, and well, now I'm thinking about this project completely differently, so I guess I'm gonna move that element there, I'm gonna change that around, turn the whole thing upside down, and ta So, you know, try and, 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 and uh, I guess try and think about you know, working on these projects as sort of not only an artistic study, but uh, a study in project management and scaling and that type of functional creativity.